Hello Cancer and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I am so happy that you're here with me today. This is your reading for your career, money and finance for the next four weeks. So we will be concentrating on the incoming energies and messages from spirit. So I will list the decks that I use in the description box below. This of course is a reading for the whole collective. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you find that it doesn't resonate with you at this time, that's okay. If you know your birth chart, please also check out your rising and moon signs. Please forgive me for my voice. I've been struggling uh, for a while with it uh, and I do apologize for the roughness. So let's take a moment to cleanse the space. So we're going to do that with the bell. So you're going to hear a loud bell sound now. Right, let's begin. So we are going to start with your energy cards. We're going to get some tarot cards. I'm going to do some of your um, energies regarding your work, career, and finance. And then we're going to end your reading with your angel number. So Cancer, let's find out what, what your energies are for the next four weeks. Spirit, angels, and guides. And this is for career, money, and finance. What would you like to share with Cancer? What are the energies surrounding Cancer as we move through these next four weeks? All right. Beautiful energies here. So you got number eight, a happy success coming your way. Number seven, victim mentality. And you got number four, taking steps. Nice. And at the bottom, number one, you've got a new cycle beginning. New beginnings are coming into play. You also have your, your these new beginnings involve your friends and colleagues. There's people around you supporting you as you move along this beautiful journey. You're leaving behind any deception, anything that you feel, whether it was you feeling you were deceiving yourself or you feel that somebody was deceiving you, whether it's a person or a situation, you're leaving that all behind because you are starting a brand new cycle. Those new beginnings are coming into play for you now. You're feeling the success and the flow of life coming into play. And it's starting slowly but surely. And you're going to start to really feel this even more intently as we move through the next four weeks. Victim mentality, we all go through moments where emotionally we feel trapped with our own, again, it's our own thoughts. You know, we, we sometimes, you know, give in to uh, pessimistic or negative thinking and we all get caught doing it because when we feel like the flow of things isn't going the way we are hoping, we tend to feel a little negative, but you are feeling this sense of great success coming into play and you're working on your healing with that victim mentality because you are taking positive steps forward. You're moving forward towards, towards the abundance that you have been waiting for. And again, when, when, uh, not only emotionally, but you know, when, when, um, situations or jobs aren't again, you know, falling in line with the way that we think the result should be at the end, we tend to put all of that onus on ourselves and we really need to be able to release that. And Cancer, you are going to release that um, because there's a lot of beautiful success cards here. Remember, you've got a whole new beginning and a new cycle starting. So with that being said, let's get right into your tarot cards. Pardon me for a minute. We are going to get into the tarot cards. So we're going to find out by clarifying this happy success. So there's two main moons happening as we move through these next four weeks. We've got the full moon in Sagittarius on May 23rd, closing out chapters. And then the new moon in Gemini on June 6th, which is the rebirth. It's the time. It's, the, it's that time where we start, um, start fresh. So spirit angels and guides for the energy of happy success. For Cancer, this is career, money, and finance. We're focusing on the aspects of our career, our investments. We're feeling a sense of success here. It's 
Let's find out. Thank you. Anything else? <clears throat> All right. Wow. Look at you. Look at you go, Gancer. Two nines. Beautiful. Nine of cups. This is all about wish fulfillment. You know, no wonder you're feeling this sense of contentment, this sense of peace and joy. You're feeling like the sky is illuminated with, um, you know, a fresh new being. All this happy success is finally coming in to play for you, Cancer, in these next four weeks. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. You can sit back and relax. Everything that you've worked hard for, everything that you have been trying to implement in your life to bring about that happy success is coming into play. Of course, everybody's wish is going to be completely different, whether it's a wish for a higher paying position or a promotion or a change of location, or you want your investments to start capitalizing. Um, you know, this wish fulfillment is feeling emotionally fulfilled um, in a very prosperous way that's bringing about that success. And again, you also got the nine of pentacles. You are feeling a sense of independent wealth here. It's all those little luxuries that you've been working so hard for. You're finally at this point where they're starting to come in for you. You've worked very hard. This hasn't come easy for you. You've gone through many transformations to get where you're, where, where you're going to be here. And this nine of pentacles is really bringing that independent wealth your way. You again, on the 23rd of May, you're going to close out chapters with this full moon in Sagittarius you are really going to start feeling so much more optimistic. You're going to be feeling a sense of encouragement and you are looking beyond the horizons. You know, again, with this full moon, it's a whole personal transformation and it's where this, where you're really going to start to see a new version of yourself and you're going to feel this sense of independence coming into play. You're releasing that victim mentality around that full moon, again, the 23rd of May, and you're going to be bringing in this new beginning. Um, with that new moon in Gemini on June 6th. So let's find out why we've got this victim mentality here. Spirit, angels, and guides. For the beautiful sign Cancer, this is career, money, and finance for the next four weeks. Why victim mentality? Let's see. All right, anything else? All right. Okay, wow. Lots of transformations. Again, we talked about that. This is all going to be coming full circle around the 23rd of May with that full moon. Number 12, the hanged man. This card is <clears throat> sometimes feeling delays. We're feeling like that delay is, is what's causing this victim mentality because things haven't been flowing exactly the way that we had initially hoped for. But, you know, we're going to take some time out here because this time is of essence. It's allowing you, Cancer, to see everything from a whole new perspective, not just a new perspective, an entirely new perspective. Again, this is about that new version of yourself. You're going to be able to see that. That light is peering through and you are willingly putting yourself in this position because you want to be able to awaken from this. You no longer want to feel this energy and you're going to be able to do that by allowing yourself a little bit of time to see things again through a new lens. And you will see it because you got number 13. So look at that in the major arcana. You got the hanged man where you're seeing that new um, perspective and the death card comes right after that and that's that huge transformation coming into play for you. This is beautiful energy. Again, your, your energies are transforming into a more positive outlook. And you're going to have something to celebrate because the Four of Wands is your gateway to happiness, your gateway to opportunity and new inspired um, motivation to move forward. You are celebrating something here because this transformation is coming into play. You're really feeling... You're really feeling as if things even within your home are transform, transforming. Um, and transpiring in a whole new way. I'm really feeling like a, maybe the energy in your home is actually going through a major transformation. Some of you could actually be doing some major renovations in your home um, around the end of May that is going to bring in a whole new energy for you, and it's something that's needed. So I really feel like you're going to start to feel a lot of... Um, there's a lot of encouraging energy here, and you are taking these steps. You're the one that has the courage to take the steps to move forward. You are ready for this transformation, Cancer. You've been waiting a long time for it, and now that time is here. 
So let's find out what the taking steps is. <clears throat> All right. Anything else? Spirit. Okay. Everything's flying out. That means there's messages. These are messages that, that spirit wants you to, to hear. So the first card that came out was the five of swords. And the reason why you need to take steps forward is because you have to stop listening to the people around you that don't have your best interest. Those are the people that you may have felt were deceiving you. But in these next four weeks, you're taking the steps forward to move away from that energy. You are not allowing that to, to mentally block your energy anymore. This five of swords is very much like that victim mentality. It's allowing other people to get in our heads and take over, um, you know, our ambitions and our motivations. And we can't allow that to happen. And you have the strength in these next four weeks to take the steps to move out of that cycle. And you are moving positively out of the cycle with that six of swords. This is moving positively towards the light. You are leaving the darkness behind. For some of you, it could physically be a move and a relocate into another job. It could be another home because financially, maybe you, you know, maybe you've invested in a home already and you've made a lot of money. It's time to move on from that investment and move into something new. For others of you, you could actually be purchasing a cottage or a second, uh, a second Mode of transportation, I'm also seeing too. For some of you, you could be purchasing a new vehicle as well. Two of Wands. You are in the, the strategizing um, moment in your life here. You know, you can see the world in front of you. And you are really starting to make a plan as to how you bring that world into your world. You're not just holding it in the palm of your hand and looking at it. You're actually figuring out how to make the moves forward to bring this prosperity into your life. You can see the two ships in this beautiful window here. Those ships are coming towards you. You just have to decide which direction you want to go. And that comes with your planning and your strategy. And then you got the three of pentacles. For some of you, three of pentacles is working in collaboration with people. And you know, with us moving into the Gemini season, well, we're in Gemini season now, but we have the new moon in Gemini on June 6th. And that's all about our communications. It's all about our positive energies and how we, you know, how we express and how we commit ourselves to personal goals. And it also has a lot to do with the communications that you have with the people around you. So again, it could be your friends, your family, your coworkers, your, you know, anybody that you work with. And I believe that you are strategizing with somebody to really bring in a lot of success. You're taking the steps to move forward towards something. You are building, you are building um, you're building your um, little empire here and you're doing it with the help of others. So for some of you, you could be seeking out um, some advice, um, some advice from either accountants or financial planners because they're working and collaborating with you to really build your, pri uh, your portfolio, your financial portfolio. For others of you, you could be working with a real estate agent to help you to find that perfect property, either whether it's to relocate or whether or not it is again for... Um, uh, a, an investment opportunity, bank loans, bank officers. Um, I, I just, I really feel as if you are, are on a mode of really changing up your life in a huge way here and you're getting the support that you need to financially move into a very prosperous time, but you're not doing it alone. You've got that support system. Okay, so now that we have all those, this is beautiful, absolutely phenomenal energy. Cancer, I'm very excited for you for these next four weeks. The courage that you have to really not allow people to get into your heads and change your emotional direction. You're very strong. So, spirit angels and guides, let's find out what your oracle here, your spirit oracles would like to say. Here we go. So the first, number 30, achievement. This is your great success. This is coming into play for you. Win the award accolade or contract. So again, if you've got contracts for work, promotions, um, a change in jobs, a change, uh, contracts could be anything. They've been contracts about investments or it could be um, a loan, a contract that you're filling out for that. It's an achievement. So you're, it's a, it's a successful, it's successful word coming 
from a support system. Look, the three of pentacles, that's a three. Number 30 in numerology is a three. I believe that you're going to get some word that something is transpiring in a very positive way. This contract is time to sign. You are moving forward. And you also got water. Very fitting for you, Cancer, as you are a water sign. Number 18, very, very um, auspicious number. Work with the element of water for healing and purification. And you know, and that's exactly why you're not feeling that sense of that mental, mental, uh, mental sorry, <clears throat> victim mentality here. You are working with your emotions and you're really starting to feel that healing coming into play. Success is definitely yours. Lots of new beginnings. So now let's sketch your career life oracle just to delve a little deeper into what's happening with career, money, and finance. This, of course, is for cancer. What would you like to share, spirit angels and guides? What are the messages? Thank you. Anything else you'd like to share with the beautiful sign cancer for the next four weeks? And anything else? We got one more there. All right. So these are advice. And you got a prickly situation. So you need both tact and diplomacy to reach your goals. And this could be why you're feeling that victim mentality. The struggle is worth the prize. So don't let people get in your head. Walk away from it. Work um, around the issue and use a gentle touch. So if you've been finding that there has been a little bit of a situation that you had to sort of, sort of tiptoe around, the struggle is worth the prize because it's coming into play for you. Drama. So beware of troublemakers. The troublemakers is this five of swords. You just have to beware of them. The job that you may want have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. And that comes down to that deception that we had here as well. You know, I think that there was a little bit of deception maybe from some colleagues or some family members in it, as we move up into these next four weeks. And you no longer want to be part of this drama. You're ready to release yourself from this. this. The prickly situation and the drama is all about you taking those positive steps forwards to move yourself out of that cycle because there is so much success and achievement coming into play and that's what you need to put your focus on. Let the past stay in the past. You're going to close out these cycles on the 23rd of May. Remember, a very key date for you to really manifest that. <clears throat> and then timing. It's all about the timing right now. Pull another card to see if you need to do it now. Wait a while or make a different decision. So let's pull another card. They want, they want to let us know whether or not the time is now. Let's find out. Let's pull one more card. Trapped. So, so you're feeling stuck in your current situation, but you do have options. Look for another job while keeping the one you have for now. That's going to be for some of you. Feeling trapped. So really it's saying that you, you know what, you really do have to look for another job. You can't just up and, you know, up and leave this prickly situation or up and leave the drama that's coming into play. It's all about timing. It's all about you really, you know, um, taking those steps forward once you receive <coughs> the sign that the timing is right. I'm actually going to get, um, I'm going to get a couple cards here for this because this is interesting to me. So let's find out with what's going on here with prickly situation, drama, timing, and feeling trapped. Okay, so spirit angels and guides, if we could be a little bit more specific here for cancer. So unsuccessful plans. Interesting. So something is unsuccessful there. And it's to dealings with an older woman. So the relationship with an older woman. So somebody, an older woman, it's, it's not successful with this older woman. Dealings or relationships with a man. So it could be a couple there, unsuccessful. And then casket, something going out of your life or the end of a situation. All right. So for some of you, this unsuccessful plan has to do with an older woman and a man. So it's the dealings of that it could be friends, family, or colleagues. But this situation is coming to an end. You're no longer going to feel trapped. The timing is coming into play in these next four weeks where you'll be able to release the drama. Remember that this situation, you will reach your goal because you have the success and you're taking the steps to move forward. <coughs> Again, this could be for some of you. 
And it might not be for some of you. So please take what resonates. But remember, there's an achievement coming into play here. This is just this is just a little bit more details for some of you so that you know exactly which direction to go. So now let's get your fortune oracle. Let's find out what spirit angels and guides would like to share with you, Cancer. <clears throat> what is that one message you'd like to share? Thank you. <clears throat> Number 15, key. New beginnings, direction, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. The reason you got all of this is because you have to let go of the past. You hold the key. New beginnings are yours. You are leaving behind all this drama. This plans that weren't successful with this older woman and man, that is coming to an end. Probably around the 23rd of May, you're going to close out those chapters. You are opening the key to a new beginning. 15 in numerology is the number 6. We are moving into June, which is the number 6. You will hold the key to new beginnings, and that will be around June 6th. Remember, 6-6, six, six, June, month of 6, 6, the 6th. Beautiful energy. All right, so now let's get your manifestation card. Let's find out. I'm just going to move these over. I'm sorry that the cards are a little messy here. Okay, hopefully you can see all those. Let's now get your manifestation card. Let's find out what spirit angels and guides would like to share with you. All right, so this might be a manifestation to concentrate on when we transform... Um, when your energy is going through a transformation on May 23rd to close out cycles. Proclaim it to create it. So to speed up any manifestations, think, talk, and write about your desire in the present tense only. I have all the money that I need. There is no past or future for the law of attraction. If you proclaim it as existing now, the universe must get very busy very quickly. So you're proclaiming it to claim it, to create it. Nine of cups, nine of pentacles. Happy success. Remember, speak as if you already have these things in your life and the universe will, will help to facilitate that. Very important. So to close out your reading, Cancer, we're going to get your angel number. All right, so let's start with this. 0220, act on your idea. You have the benefit of good fortune, and if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything. In this place, you can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern. You're about to, to experience a spectacular ascent. So lots, you need to act on this. And you got one, 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 one. That is the gateways opening for you. Wish come true. You're in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news, experience, new opportunities, or an exciting acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. Beautiful energies. So there's a lot of different energies going on here, Cancer. So some of these might resonate with you and, and for some of you it might not because we did get a little bit more specific. But if it does, please definitely leave me comments because I love to hear and read them. Please also consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Remember, your lucky numbers from your angels is 1111 and 0220. Those are very auspicious numbers. And of course, when you see those, that's your angels trying to get your attention. Please also uh, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing my channel. I do appreciate the love and support. And until next time, Cancer, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.